We're at the scene of an avalanche fatality that occurred on January 23rd. The slope behind me, fairly small, unassuming slope, slid. Debris, unfortunately, ended up in a terrain trap. There were two burials associated with this avalanche, and unfortunately, there was one fatality. So we've made our way up to the lower edge of the crown, and what we found is that this is a cross-loaded slope. We have approximately a 30-inch slab of snow resting on a very thin January 12th rain crust. Below the rain crust, we're finding decomposed surface hoar along with small faceted snow. That's where the failure occurred. And we just performed a stability test. Results were ECTP 24, so it was hard force, but we got a quality one minus shear um, propagated across. And as you can see, we have a very smooth bed surface. The interesting thing about the bed surface here is that it's, it's very soft. Walking out onto the avalanche, we're actually post holing our way in through the bed surface. So we've worked our way up to just above the highest point of the fracture line. And we've gotten a slope angle of about 35 degrees. We have noticed that there is a slight convexity that's associated with the fracture line. Fracture line is about 200 feet wide. The vertical is about 200 feet. So not a lot of snow has moved, but unfortunately, once again, it has deposited down in a, in a terrain trap at the bottom of the gully.